humor and music have become popular in the Atlantic provinces in recent years. One of the most popular of these shows was aired in February in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. Blaine Henshaw takes a look at the Uncle George Newfoundland radio show. <laughs> Thunder and lightning. And Uncle George back with you again, my son, with the next 30 minutes with the best sang clapping, toe tapping music that ever come out of Leading Tickles, Newfoundland Boy. And it's brought to you by those good people, the Bay Boys, Mahone Auto and Mahone Bay. And we're going to carry on our good show this evening. What a request going out for Barb, the one who likes to take Uncle George to bed every night. And uh, he calls himself Uncle George, the fun loving, irreverent, and rollicking host of a lively half hour weekly radio show on CKBW in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. The show itself is a strange mix of Newfoundland music, corny down-home humor, riddles and trivia, and the often outlandish antics of Uncle Jarge himself. Ah, uh, boys, yes, just pull your car off the shoulder of the road, now, eh? Don't let those fellows catch you out there, boy, and dance with Uncle Jarge. Get up in your kitchen and get drunk with me, boy. Woo! Let her go, let her go now. Despite the fact that it's really just a diamond in the rough, the Uncle Jarge show has been an amazing success since its inception last February. We didn't really know what the response would be. Um, as you know, along the south shore of Nova Scotia, there's quite a Newfoundland community related primarily to the fishing industry. And since this station had never really programmed Newfoundland music, especially in a particular time block, we decided to give it a try and uh, it's worked out very, very well. So we're very, very pleased with the response, uh, audience-wise, as well as the cards and letters that keep on coming in. Every time I come in here into the studio and I shoot that beautiful music out to those people out there, they love me. They just love me, waiting for me to come on. They love me. He, in fact, he even takes me to bed. Now, in addition to his highly successful radio show, Uncle George has become quite a commercial success. For example, at this Bridgewater department store, there's a steady and growing demand for Uncle George caps, the Uncle George t-shirts, and of course the Uncle George album. In fact, the album is already a phenomenal success here locally. Released only three weeks ago, it has already sold over 850 copies. Like all good entertainers, Uncle George often performs for the benefit of one of his favorite charities, Crippled Children. I have loved kids. All of my life I love kids. I love to help crippled children. I have a, uh, took a tour in the children's hospital and it nearly killed me. And I always want to help those kids. I put off the shows for charity, raise money for them, uh, home for special care, uh, multiple cirrhosis, I guess I said that right. I'm a Newfoundlander, so excuse me the way I talk. Uh, adult residential center, see, I just made a mistake then. But anyway, oh, I, I do uh, a lot of charity work, and especially crippled children, yes. Although most people in the Bridgewater area know who Uncle George really is, he prefers to keep his identity under wraps. He says he doesn't want to destroy the mystique of the character he's created. I'm Uncle George uh, from Leading Tickles, Newfoundland, boy. Uh, population, mom and dad, you know. Uh, we lived in the woods that far. We had to come out and hunt, of course. My mother was the mayor, my dad is the dog catcher, and this is who I am. I'm Uncle George from Newfoundland. Is Uncle George a real character uh, back in that little community? Uncle George, yes. Uncle George is a real character from uh, he's a Newfoundland fisherman. In fact, uh, he's my uncle. And here I am, Uncle George. As for the future, it's hard to know whether he's serious or not, but Uncle George says he has set his sights on much higher goals. I'm going to go all the way till I strike Hollywood. I'm going to be there. All things are, you know, all things are possible if you only believe. And I believe that God is going to put me there. I'll make those people laugh, happy out there, and I'm happy in here. In Bridgewater, Blaine Henshaw for Atlantic Afternoon. <laughs> now there's a fellow with a fun track mind. We're in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. Boys, now they get all kinds of deals in here. All kinds of deals, as you can see around the store here. Outside, as we come in, you see Gow's Home Hardware, one of the largest stores in the Maritimes. And we're here uh, to do this uh, program here, sponsored by Gow's Home Hardware and Piercy Zonda in Kentville, Nova Scotia. Now, they get all kinds of deals. They're hoping uh, six days a week, right here at Gow's Home Hardware in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. And I'll tell you, by the Lord, thunder and smoke, 
They can match any price sir, here in the Maritimes, here at Gal's Home Hardware with Uncle George and the Atlantic Show Band. Now we're going to get back to more music with George and the Atlantic Show Band right here at Gal's Home Hardware in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. Okay. 